All right, how's everybody doing today? Back again with another video for you guys. And today, I got something real special for you guys. But first, before I jump into it, I just want to again send a big thank you out there to all of my subscribers. Thank you guys for joining in. Thank you guys who've been subscribed for a long time for sticking around and sticking with me. I really appreciate it. Just wanted to throw out that thank you. So today... What I have for you guys is a mega unboxing. That's right, guys. Another one. Now, recently, I posted a review suggestions video where I asked you guys to comment. And when I had the funds, I'd pick up a few devices. Well, thank you to those of you that commented because I was actually able to get some really good stuff, which I'm going to unbox for you guys right here today. So without further ado, let's get into this. And I might throw out a shout out or two if I don't butcher the name uh, as thank you for throwing up these suggestions. So at first, the first thing I want to unbox for you guys and give y'all my first impressions of. Now, <laughs> this is not traditional packaging, but it is what it is. Now this right here, guys... You can't tell by that adapter. Is an iPhone. And bam, headphones as well. But what I have for you guys right here, now in the interest of fairness, I did go already and open up all the packages and cut all the tape and set everything up just to make it faster and make it a little bit more fair and quick so you guys don't see me struggle because I hate it when you guys see me struggle on camera so right here the first thing I want to talk about for you guys and give you my first impressions is this iPhone 6 now yes I did pick it up used and I picked it up at a great price I'll tell y'all the price when I do my full review but I know you guys may be wondering because in a few of my older videos uh, I told you guys that my next phone purchase was going to be an iPhone and I asked you guys for recommendations then I was thinking about the iPhone SE and you know and it just dawned on me man um, I just had to think about it like what do I really use what do I really need and so I decided to pick up this iPhone 6. Now I know some of you guys may be like, man, E, the 6? Eric, really? Uh, yes, guys, yes. I was doing my research and I actually found that the 7 uh, can occasionally run into some problems with the GPS not functioning right and you get a few random reboots and it overheats. So I was like, one of the, one of the key things for me, as many of y'all may know, is the GPS has to function almost flawlessly because I'm very GPS dependent so when I found out that that was a bug that kinda turned off the iPhone 7 for me so then I was saying that uh, the SE uh, was kinda small so now I'm like oh man so I was like how about the 6 so you know what it came up on a good price I picked it up and here it is and this right here is not the 6 Plus, but the 6. So it's a 4.7 inch display. And you have your 1.2 megapixel camera right there. You got your, your volume buttons right here with your mute switch. Then you got your 8 megapixel camera right there. And you got your flash. And then you got your home button, which also has your touch ID. And one sweet thing about this is this is a 128 gig model so I should have storage for days one of the things that I really had to think about when I was picking up an iPhone is the fact that they do not have expandable storage so whatever storage you have is what you're stuck with and I did not really want to invest in the iCloud or any type of um, cloud storage even though I have cloud storage already but you know 
for what I do with my devices, and this one is going to get tested heavily, I make a lot of video, I take a lot of pictures, so I need the maximum storage on the device that is possible. Now, with some of my other devices, that's not an issue because they have micro SD cards, so you just pop in a micro SD card and you're on your way. But with the iPhone, you don't have that option. So I really had to try and push for the highest storage space available and when this um, 128 gig model went on sale I went ahead and hurried up and picked it up so that right there is why I picked up this iPhone 6 and the configuration of it and the storage on it alright so that's the first thing for you guys and big shout out to you to um, 206 p.m. for making that suggestion even though I was already going to pick up an iPhone device, I really do appreciate that you went ahead and threw it out there. And you know what? I was picking it up, so I figured why not. And I'm more than happy to give you the shout out. So, big thank you for suggesting that, 2.06 p.m. And I also wanted to address your uh, other request, the VR headsets. Now, VR for me, I'm not sure what the issue is. But it really does bother my eyes and it gives me quite the headache. So that's why I haven't covered any VR yet and I don't think I'm going to in the future. So, sorry. Can't do the VR. But if you make another suggestion, I'll see what I can do. Alright. Up next, what I have, I don't want to unbox for you guys, is the... Angle the camera up. The JBL Flip 2. Boom. Right there. Now, I was perusing the comments, as I told you guys I would. And on one of my Bluetooth speaker videos, somebody had made the statement. Let me see what it is. Uh, Bass Junkie. Yeah. Had made the statement that a speaker that I reviewed was the same price as the JBL Flip 2 and you know what I figured why not pick it up and we'll go head to head and give you guys a test so you guys can see which one is worth your money so here it is nothing else in the box there alright make sure I didn't skip out and and the user manual, okay, yeah, there really is nothing else in the box right there. Toss that box off to the side, and let's see what we have. So it looks like we have, um, I want to say it's a hard shell carrying case. Yep, it looks like that's what it is. Boom. And inside here, we got your micro USB charging cables. We got a wall brick. What else we got here? Nothing in here. Just an empty bag here. I'm not sure what that is. We got the user manual here. And there you go. Nothing else in the pouch. Alright, so gather this up. Pretty beefy user manual here. Um, it's already torn. All right, pull this out because we're gonna go over this. I'm liking the fact that they included that wall brick there. Now I apologize. Black does show up really badly on camera, so if you can make that out, there's the stats for the the wall brick. If not, I'm sorry there, but it's got a nice little JBL logo on it right there. That's pretty cool. Throw that off that way. And then we got our user manuals and put this down. Standard USB cable. Looks very beefy, which means it's going to be nice quality. Don't even have to crack that. Got a ton of these. Toss this off the side. Got your user manual right here. 
and then you got the unit itself right here. So let's crack this open. See what she's looking like under here. All right. All right, there it is. Wow, guys. Okay, first impressions. Let me get all this plastic out of here first. First impressions, guys. I must say, it looks it looks really good. It looks really, really good. It's got a nice weight to it. Here's your ports here. So it, it does look like it takes an auxiliary cord. So if you want to do it wired style, you can do that. Now there was no aux cord included in the box. And let's see. Um, micro USB charging there. So that's cool. Got your buttons along the side here. It's power. Uh, you can make and receive phone calls it looks like. And that looks like how you put it into Bluetooth parent mode there. And you got your volume up and down. So that's pretty cool. It feels really rugged as well. So that's cool as well. And now let's take it to the user menu real quick. This is your warranty and safety instructions. And let's see what this is. Alright. Okay. Aha, I like this. So here goes the user manual for you guys. Let me let that focus. Just showing you how to do everything. So you guys can pause and read that. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Looks like it uses the Bluetooth that does the 2.4 gigahertz band here. And it has a 2000 milliamp hour battery in it. Which is cool, very cool. And uh, 6 watts, 6 watt output there. Nice hefty weight to it. Charge time is three hours. Um, let me see if they tell you what the drivers are. Uh, 65 millimeter. That's the dimensions. Okay. Got the range on there. All right. So skimming through. I don't really see it off the top of the head here. And it looks like it comes in different languages. So you got your Spanish over here, it looks like. All right. Let me flip this around. See what we got on the back here. Pretty much the same thing in different languages. I like that. JBL has a nice detailed manual here in many different languages. All right. Check out what this other manual is. Toss this off to the side real quick. All right. Ooh. Man, that thing really beefy right here, guys. Whew. You think I can get it all in, on camera here? Okay. English, many different languages here. I really want to see what this is. Ah, okay. This is a different version of the instructions here. Many different languages on this guy. Now that's upside down. You find the right language, you turn it right side up, and there it is. So that's pretty cool. Even though I think that first user manual did it pretty well. It's pretty cool that they included another detailed one there. So this was the unboxing of the JBL Flip 2. And I must say, I think I really am going to enjoy this. It's nice and hefty. It actually feels very rugged. So it feels like it may be able to take a beating. And I'm really interested to hear what it sounds like because... Um, as, as I've said, um, Bass Junkie was actually having a conversation stating that this may be better 
than the speaker that I reviewed. I can't remember the video right right off the top of my head, but I'm going to go back through and I'll make sure I grab that speaker. And after I do the full review of this, we'll do a versus video so you guys can hear for yourselves and you guys can be the judge of which speaker is better for the price. So that was the JBL Flip 2. Let me go ahead and throw this off to the side. All right. Up next, what do we have? All right. Bam. Up next, we have the Bluteo BS3 Bluetooth speaker right here. Um, um, let me see. Let me do a shout out. Okay. I really don't want to butcher the name, so I'm just going to throw it up on the screen real quick for you guys. Let that focus. So you guys can see right there. Big shout out. I'm not even going to try it. You can see it right there for suggesting the Bluteo BS3. Appreciate it. It actually looks like a very sturdy speaker. So I'm going to go ahead and test it out for you, and we're going to see what it do. All right. So starting off, I like the presentation already out of the box here. Let me pull this off camera real quick. Thank you. Push it. Which way do you push it? Let me blow in the box here. Alright, so, okay. Slides out like so. Alright. I knew I figured it out there. Keep in mind, guys, all I did was cut the plastic. Still going to have a little bit of a struggle sometimes. All right. And it flips out to the side. So let's bring it back in. So just like that, flips out this way. Boom. You got a little plastic cover here. Let's take that off. Toss that to the side. And let's see. If I don't ruin the packaging. Alright, let's start here. Got two boxes right here. Let's see what's in here. Alright. So, looks like your user manuals. In many different languages, so that's pretty cool. So you should be more than able to find your language here. If you need to go to the user manual on it. Toss this off to the side. What do we have next? It's probably the one with the cables. Alright. Alright, cool. So we got an aux cable here. What else do we have? Micro USB charging cable. Awesome. Nothing else in that box. Toss that off to the side. Got the, wow, okay. This guy's got some weight to him. He's in there pretty good. Alright, so we got the unit itself. Take it out the plastic there. Let me pop this. Kind of ripped the plastic. Just slide it out the sleeve like so. Throw that off that way. Nothing else in here. Throw this off to the side. And here's the unit. Let me get rid of the plastic here. Here is the unit, guys. Wow. Wow. Now, they had multiple different colors. I, I figured I'd go with something new. You know, I figured I had too much black or too much white. Let me go ahead and pick, a, pick up a different color. So, I picked up the caramel here. And I must say, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. And the speaker itself looks pretty good as well. Got your rubber grip on the bottom. So when you put it down, it's not really going to slide. Unless you put some effort to it. And it looks like you got your controls across the top here. Which are actually very nice and clicky. As you can hear. Liking that, liking that. I'm gonna really enjoy this. 
Now this ain't gonna really blend too well with my all black setup, but you know I, I could put this right there. Actually, yeah, I could put this right in front of my USB hub and kind of conceal it, and you know this might work out nice. Yeah, I'm not feeling this. I'm feeling this. Now, let me just go over a little bit here. So this guy has, I think it's Bluetooth 4.1. I want to say. If I can find it. Alright, yeah, yeah. Here, here it is, here it is. So, this guy has Bluetooth 4.1. And it, again, is using the 2.4 gigahertz band. And it supports a ton of different audio codecs. So, this one might be compatible with almost all of your, your audio codecs. So, we're going to put that to the test during the full review. It had, it says you can get five hours of music playback and talk time and over a thousand hours of standby. Alright, so we're going to put that to, te to the test in the full review and I really am going to enjoy this. Alright, so that was the unboxing of the Bluteo BS3. Man, it looked nice. Throw this off to the side. Alright, what do we got next here? Alright. Alright. This one right here is the Moto X 2nd Gen. Now, you may have heard it buzz. That's because, as I've said, I've already unboxed it and set it up. Just put it back in there to make it a little easier there. But this, again, all of this came via Amazon, if I didn't already say it, and it actually came quite quickly, so kudos Amazon, if y'all remember I have Amazon Prime, and this looks a little minimal, but it was actually packaged quite nicely, I just unboxed it and everything and put, put the essentials back in there, but it was actually packaged up real nice and real protected, but this is what you get, now this one was used. And so was the JBL Flip 2. That was also used. So I picked it up at a really good price. The price I'm going to talk about um, during the full review of this guy. So this is what you get here. And then this is the device itself. And I must say, now I've been playing around with this for a little bit. Along with playing around with the iPhone 6. And I must say, these guys feel pretty good in the hand and the screen size is almost perfect I'm really feeling the screen size on both this guy and the iPhone 6 let me throw this off to the side and let's walk around the device so up front here dead center you have a 5.2 inch I think it's a 1080p display or 720p display I'll get the exact numbers for y'all in the full review then we have a 2 megapixel camera up front. We have our receiver for phone calls. Now I know it looks like dual speakers, but it's actually not. This is the receiver. This is the speaker. Alright? Along the side here, we got nothing. Along the back, got that Motorola dimple, which is something they phased out on the Moto X here. They made it a little smaller. Made it a nice little silver. But you know, I must say, I'm really am liking that little dimple here. I'm kind of sad to see that they phased it out. Then you got your 13 megapixel camera with your ring flash, which is the same ring flash that they had on the Nexus 6. Alright. Then on this side, you have your textured power on button. And you got your volume rockers. Man. It's really solid. Then you got your micro USB charging port here. And I think this does support turbo charging, but I'll double check that in the full review for you guys. And then you got your headphone jack up here. And you got your SIM card tray here. Now, it's just a SIM card. There's no micro SD card slot on this. So, this model here is the 16 gigabyte model with 2 gigs of RAM. So, you really got to um, pay attention to that. 
If you're the type of person that puts a lot of stuff on their phone, you may want to strip it down to the bare essentials. But if some of us can get by with that, and y'all already know, I believe I can get by with that. I did something similar on my Nexus 5X before I had to get rid of it. Um, you know, so this shouldn't be a problem, but I'll let you guys know in the full review whether it is. So that's that there. Just wanted to point that out. So that was the Moto X second gen, the, the 2014 model there. All right. All right, so that pretty much covers everything. But now, y'all already know, I've been through too much with my Moto X Pure Edition to try and rock these raw. So, picked up a case for the Moto X, the Moto X second gen here. And I also, because you already know, picked up a case for the iPhone 6. So, bring it back in I already know because these these bad boys are a little bit expensive now I picked them both up used so that's how I was able to get such a good price on them but brand new I believe this guy will run you three hundred dollars brand new now these both are unlocked to work on any carrier so I'm not gonna have any issues and I haven't had any issues I actually pulled my sim out of my Moto X Pure Edition and dropped them in both of these guys and they picked up signal no problem I didn't even have to wrestle with APNs just drop the sim in and I'm gone so that was good but brand new this Moto X second gen 2014 will run you about three hundred dollars and Brand new over here, if you can find it at this configuration, will probably run you about about four hundred dollars. So, yeah. Again, I'll let you guys know the exact prices that I picked these guys up for in the full review. Now, just want to go ahead and unbox these cases. Now, y'all have already seen me uh, talk about this case when it comes to my Moto X Pair Edition. This is the Sup unicorn beetle case right and the reason why I went with sub cases and this unicorn beetle is because this case on my Moto X Pure Edition is still working and functioning like a champ and I gotta be honest with y'all I put my Moto X Pure Edition through the ringer and if I take the case off it still looks as if it's almost brand new. So, if somewhere down the line I decide to get rid of my Moto X Pure Edition, that's going to increase my resale value. So, y'all already know. If I do decide to let these guys go, I want to definitely make sure the resale value is high. So, I went ahead and picked up this case. These cases for them. Alright? Now, real quick. What I want to do, because I don't want to make this video too much longer. So, you got your barcode that you can scan real fast. And it takes you to a video on how to put the case on. Now, but what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to put the case on. So you guys know, if you pick it up out the box, um, just how to do it. Let me go ahead and snap the belt clip off. But it does have a belt clip, so if you type of person that rocks the belt clip, you good to go. You got the case and the belt clip. But let me snap the belt clip off real fast. I think we're going to use the Moto X Pure Edition to demo this. Let me do this off camera real fast. All the guys got. Let's see here. Alright. Come on. Come out of there. Which way? The struggles of the belt clip. Alright. This is why I don't use these. It goes in, but it's a struggle to get out. That's why I don't use that part. Toss that off to the side. Alright. So, here's the case. Now, when you get it, it will have protective plastic on the front. 
and protective plastic on the inside as well as a uh, I want to say it's a silicone uh, silver strip on the inside that you have to pull off when you get the case but first what you want to do and big bro if you check out this video later this one's for you you want to work around the edge to get it to separate let me do this off camera real quick All right, so real fast, just get it to separate and then work it around. Work it around. And then pop it out. Actually, let's go this way. Now, because it's brand new, Lost it, guys. Sorry about that. Bump the camera. <laughs> Extreme unboxing. Home edition. <laughs> but because it's brand new, it is going to give you a little bit of struggle when you're trying to pull it off, as y'all seen. Now, I'm not going to cut that part out. I bumped the camera over. I saved it. It is what it is. Keep it going. We're going to do this raw and then cut. So, after you separate it like so, you want to take your phone first now I'm just doing this for demonstration but first what you want to do is make sure it's clean on the front and on the inside make sure it's clean then you want to put it in pick a side take your finger go over like that and then snap it around snap it all around alright then take the hard shell TPU part and snap, drop it in. Get that on there. Work that around. Then squeeze it real good to get it lined up, make it look snug. Alright. And there you go. The case is installed. Alright, guys. I just wanted to cover that real quick. Alright, so. That has been another mega unboxing for you guys. Oh, oh, oh. Real quick. Big shout out to. Let me see if I can catch the name again. Um, hashtag Becky Unedited One for suggesting the Moto X second gen here. Now, she asked that I do a review. I, I believe it's a she. But he or she asked that I do a review on running Marshmallow. But, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let it do all the updates. And hopefully I'll get the Marshmallow update. And then I'll do the review. So, if I get the Marshmallow update on this guy, we'll run the review. Even not, we're still going to do the review. But big shout out to uh, Becky Unedited One for suggesting this. And... That's pretty much it. Again, big shout out to everybody who made suggestions 